Hi hello welcome back so today we will be seeing about chapter 19 ICD 10 CM guideline injury poisoning and certain other consequences of external causes yes 00 hyphen T88 so before entering into the video let me introduce myself i'm danya uh, so you're watching learn with danya if you're watching my channel for the first time please do subscribe and share it with your friends also Chapter 19 in ICD 10 CM is dedicated dedicated to coding injuries, poisoning, and various other complication that results from external causes. This chapter encompasses a wide range of conditions, from fracture and burns to adverse effect of drugs and complication of surgical procedures. So. Um, Next is uh, how to code injuries. For injuries, the code series is S00 to S99. In that, we have traumatic injuries. Traumatic injuries include fracture, dislocation, sprains, strains, and wounds. Burns and corrosion codes based on the depth, extent, and body surface area affected. Intracranial injuries include concussion, contusion, and traumatic brain injury codes. And injuries, uh, you can see that. So poisoning and toxic effect. Code series T thirty six to T sixty five. Poisoning covers cases of poisoning by drug, medicines, and biological substances. Adverse effect when a drug is correctly prescribed and administered, but results in adverse effect that is side effect. Toxic effect is caused by non medicinal substances such as lead poisoning or alcohol toxicity. Complication uh, T eight zero to T eighty eight. so complication we have intraoperative and post procedural complication which includes hemorrhage shock and complication of transplant adverse effect of surgical and medicare coded when there are complication directly related to medical or surgical procedure reaction to foreign substance such as rejection of implanted devices or allergy reaction to surgical implants certain other consequences of external causes include t68 to c uh, 66 to t78 radiation sickness caused by exposure to radiation anaphylactic shock due to external cause like flood or insect stings hypothermia and frostbite resulting from exposure to cold i have added a playlist for icd if you have missed a few chapters you can look into the playlist okay application of seventh character in chapter 19 always make sure s series to t series they have uh, uh, seventh character so seventh character includes a d and s a means initial encounter d is subsequent encounter and s is sequel so initial encounter if the patient is coming for active treatment give a follow up visit d and uh, late effect is s coding of injuries uh, for coding injuries we should uh, have a detailed and comprehensive system for coding of injuries uh, that includes specific so in that uh, specific type location severity and episode of care for each injury is must then comes uh, key components for coding injuries first we have to know the type of injury the nature of injury such as fracture or dislocation laceration contusion burns etc and second we have to know about the anatomical location third you have to know about the laterality that is site and fourth you should know about the severity please make note of all the guidelines whatever is discussed then comes the fifth to uh, then comes the seventh character for uh, care that is a d and s next comes the external cause code these code describe the external cause of injury such as how the injury happened activity time place etc and if there is multiple injuries we have to code each injury separately next is superficial injury superficial injuries are mainly abrasions and contusion and make sure if the patient is coming only for superficial injury superficial injury should be coded if superficial injury is present along with serious injury don't code for superficial injury code only for serious injury primary injury with damage to nerves or blood vessel first to code primary injury second code damage to nerves s04 when uh, injury with damage to blood vessels is happening first to code for injury second code for damage to blood vessels s15 iatrogenic injuries are mainly the injuries caused by the uh, doctors during the procedure that is uh, due to happening because of medical treatment so iatrogenic injuries are never coded as injuries they are coded as complication 
then coding for traumatic fracture traumatic fracture is mainly happening because of accidents so traumatic fracture uh, is directly related to the bone typical uh, like fall uh, etc so for traumatic injuries make sure you are uh, knowing about the severity location as well as make sure you are assigning the seventh character for the code then uh, key com key guidelines identify the specific type of bone and the location where uh, the injury has happened then you have to identify the type of fracture type of fracture includes open fracture closed fracture displaced non displaced that uh, differentiation is there no so you have to know about the type of fracture next you have to assign the seventh character for uh, fractures so whenever we are coding for fracture no you have to know the type whether it is uh, uh, displaced or not displaced whether it is malunion or non union you have to know the laterality like that many things is there for coding this fracture that uh, for fracture alone i'll uh, post a video like how to code fracture if multiple fracture is uh, present for the patient we have to code each fracture separately and the primary code will be assigned for the most severe fracture and make sure always you are assigning the external cause code along with uh, fractures write the notes and keep so that it will be really helpful for you to practice examples of traumatic fracture closed fracture of the right distal radius initial encounter here i have coded for the fracture few examples are given like for initial encounter for subsequent uh like that we have given like uh, you can see how the seventh character has been assigned so read the question properly and uh, check those codes in the book so that you will have a proper idea sequencing of multiple fracture the most severe fracture should be coded first and uh, other fracture should be coded as secondary or third diagnosis fracture of the same bone if multiple fracture occurs on the same bone uh, the most severe fracture should be sequenced first multiple fracture of different bones if the patient has fracture on different bone each fracture should be coded separately physeal fracture physeal fracture is also known as growth plate fracture occurs in the growth plates of uh, children and adolescents these fractures are particularly important to code correctly because they affect the future growth of the bone here also we have like uh, uh, physeal fracture usually we call it as alter harris uh, system which is categorized by the type of fracture type 1 type 2 like that it is there so based on that you have to code hereby i have given an example for that you can go through it so only two more like uh, chapter 20 and 21 is left out tomorrow and day after tomorrow it will be posted so make sure you have written all the guidelines and kept so that it will be easy for you coding of burns and corrosion burns and corrosions are injuries to the skin and other tissues caused by heat chemical electricity radiation or friction so whenever we are coding for uh, burns and corrosion burns code series starts with t20 to t25 as well as corrosion codes also starts with t20 to t25 burns are happening because of fire hot object electricity and corrosion is happening because of chemicals so classification by depth whenever we are coding for burns first we have to know about the depth depth means whether it is first degree second degree or third degree burn first degree burn is always the erythema formation second degree is blister formation and third degree is um, uh, full thickness burn depth is very much important and then you have to know about the site and extent extent means the total surface area site is the anatomical area so for extent we will be coding the total surface area t31 to t32 if multiple sites are affected each site is coded separately then a use of seventh character as we know like we will be assigning a for initial encounter d for subsequent encounter and s for sequel and make sure you are always assigning the external cause code additionally
then comes non healing burns non healing burns it is important to remember that they are always considered as acute burns always make sure non healing burns are considered as acute burns next comes infected burn whenever we are coding for infected burn in icd 10 cm it is important to capture both the burn itself and associated infection so first we have to code for the burn side and second we have to code for the infection next one burns and corrosion classified according to the extent of body surface area involved whenever we are coding for burns and corrosion it is crucial to classify them according to the extent of body surface area involved this classification helps to determine the severity of the burns so primary burn codes first we have to identify the specific type of burn or corrosion using appropriate code from t20 to t25 next we have to know the laterality and then you have to know about the total surface area so for that you you will be coding from t31 to t32 next i have given an example here so you can go through the example adverse effect adverse effect poisoning under dosage and toxic effect whenever we are coding for adverse effect poisoning and under dosage toxic effect it is important to follow specific gu guidelines so there is a breakdown of how to approach coding for each of these scenarios it is given in the next slide so adverse effect means adverse effect occurs when a drug or a substance is correctly prescribed and administered but the patient experiences a negative reaction or a side effect for this code first the nature of adverse effect like what complication the patient has got that should be coded first and second you have to code for adverse effect of that drug hereby i have given an example patient develop a rash after taking that medicine first you have to code for the rash and second code for adverse effect of that drug next comes poisoning poisoning refers to the incorrect use of substance such as overdose wrong substance given or taken um, so for that first you have to code for poisoning second you have to code for the uh, complication a patient is treated for an overdose of acetaminophen first code poisoning by acetaminophen and second you have to code for uh, the condition next comes under dosage under dosage occurs when a patient take less of a medication than prescribed or intended resulting in a condition or exacerbation of an existing condition first to code for under dosage second code for the condition sorry first code for the condition resulted second code for the uh, under dosage a diabetic patient that is hyperglycemic episode after the intentionally taken less insulin first code for the condition and second code for uh, under dosage toxic effect uh, occurs when a patient comes in contact with a harmful substance that is not meant to be ingested or administered or when exposure occurs in a toxic amount first we have to code for toxic effect second you should code for the condition example patient admitted to the hospital after inhaling toxic fumes from a chemical first to code for toxic effect second code for respiratory issue adult and child abuse neglect and maltreatment when coding for adult and child abuse in icd 10 cm there are specific guidelines to follow first we have to code for the specific type of abuse when a patient is seen for uh, initial encounter related to abuse maltreatment the primary diagnosis reflect on abuse neglect or maltreatment additional code if any physical injuries is present that should be coded additionally and if any mental health condition is resulted that also should be coded external cause code for example if the perpetrator is known like the person who did the crime is known you have to code for y07 
नेक्स्ट आई हैव गिवन एन एग्जाम्पल हियर यू कैन गो थ्रू इट so that's all about this topic thank you so much for watching if you're watching my channel for the first time please do subscribe don't forget to subscribe and if you find it useful please do share it with your friends take notes of all the guidelines whichever is posted so that it will be really helpful for you to practice for your uh, cpc exam as well as for your interview thank you so much for watching take care wish you all the best bye bye